This tiny input could break into 70% of websites even in 2025. And this, my friends, is SQL injection. According to OWASP, SQL injection remains in top 10 most critical web vulnerabilities and you'll be surprised to know how simple the concept is behind this attack. When you log into a website, the server checks your credentials using a SQL query, something like select star from users where username is admin and password equals to 1234. If it finds a match, you are in. If it not, it throws an error like wrong password or user not found. Simple, right? Sure. But here's where things get dangerous. What if I add a single quote and a hash after admin? The hash character is used for comments in SQL, meaning everything written after it on that line will be ignored by the SQL engine. So here, the resultant query becomes select star from users where username equals to admin. And that's it. The password check skipped and we are in. That's just one way using the SQL comments. There's more to it. The OR conditions, union injections. Explore these techniques, understand how they work because that's your first line of defense. Follow for more.